Someone must tell the usual suspects on the far left that the saying is, when you're in a hole, stop digging. You just lost a crazy contest to an actual crazy person. What a shocker that the people who see everything through the lens of race and sex see their election loss as a result of racism and sexism. Let's check out what Bill Maher said that completely set off Sonny Hostin. You won't believe her reaction. Yes, if only we weren't so irredeemably unenlightened, we would have elected a black president by now. Oh, what, we did? Asked if racism is built into our society. White progressives agreed with that at higher levels than black and Hispanic people. They don't want your pity. And black people can't afford to indulge rich white people's need to endlessly flagellate themselves. They just want prices to go down and good jobs and the police when you call them. Well, if he's right, then why didn't people vote for the former prosecutor who actually had policy plans to help the working class? I mean, I, I, you know, again, I got my popcorn. I don't know why people did what they did. I see all these reasons. And, and so, OK, time will tell. It's not that complicated. Seriously. When are they going to figure it out? They blame everything on identity politics but then turn around and say it's the Republicans who are using identity politics instead. Like, come on, pick a lane and stick with it. It's confusing and doesn't add up at all. It's very difficult for people to, to believe that racism and misogyny, they're just alive and well. I think that we don't want to think that about ourselves, our neighbors, our friends. Um, but it, it's... My lived experience tells me that it does still exist, even if your lived experience doesn't tell you that it exists. And, you know, the facts support that. I think we have a graph. If, if you look at the, the, there's a clear racial divide in who voted for the, the uh, per, uh, Trump as opposed to who voted for Kamala Harris. It's very clear. It's, it's not only clear by race, but it's also clear by education. A and so the notion somehow that that is not true, this is by education. Those who attended college voted for her at a higher degree than those that didn't. But I and think I've said that. His point. I mean, let me just okay. finish. And, and so I've said that before, and there was so much backlash because I, I think it's an uncomfortable, inconvenient truth. Your understanding of the situation is off. Just because people are grouped by race or education does not mean they are racist. What it actually shows is that other factors are at play. If you look at recent numbers, they prove that the argument about racism doesn't hold up. It is not about race at that point. It is about something much bigger and more complex. The whole point is they didn't vote for him because of racism and misogyny. They vote, voted for him because they felt like, I think the biggest common denominator in this election is people want a good life and ability to provide for their family. Well, and whether we, people, and whether we agree or not with Donald Trump's plans, black people they are, thought are that he was reflective. One of the poorest demographics in this country, but they voted for Kamala Harris. But there was a split and more of them voted for Donald Trump than had historically. I think that there's such a desire. If you really think the vast majority of this country voted because of racism and misogyny, I you're missing vast, it. Most of my family, the vast a lot of my family Alyssa, doesn't have college but degrees. But the stats are the stats. But that's not, it doesn't the, say the, I'm the, white, I voted for Donald Trump because of racism. It, it, but they, the, but the, that's you, not what you What you stat are you talking let about? Let me just dissect the Yes, two. you can. Wait, wait, wait. A lot hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, calm down. Everybody just take a breath. It's worth pointing out that while many black voters, one of the most economically disadvantaged groups in the country, supported Kamala Harris, there was still a noticeable increase in support for Trump compared to past elections. This shift wasn't about backing racism or misogyny. It was about people voting for what they thought would improve their lives. Assuming most voters are motivated by hate oversimplifies things. A lot of people who don't fit the college-educated elite mold voted for Trump because they connected with his message, not out of bad intentions. Reducing this to identity politics misses the bigger picture. People cast their votes based on their struggles, their dreams, and what they believe will help them, not just their race or gender.